Hi guys, um, I'm currently on my way to the bank because I'm an adult. No, I'm just broke and my dad gave me cash. Um, and then I'm taking three soul cycle classes. Happy Friday. The sun is shining, it was just raining. I literally have a fucking umbrella. Um, and loads of people are taking pictures in Soho right now. Don't know why, but I feel like I've been in a few of them and I look like shit. Anyways, going to the bank. I bank with Barclays for anyone that cares, but no one does. But um, yeah, oh, I got a new phone. Um, Soho, so I hate when Soho's this busy, but it's just such a fucking tourist attraction and I'm like, ah. <sighs> so silly like this anyways going to soul cycle now just got some water going to soul cycle i really do hate that my curtain is always in shot but like there's really not much i can do about it anyways so home from soul cycle um <laughs> going back to do two more classes and then i'm gonna go out for drinks honestly i like vlogging days like this but like I just feel like so much of it isn't vlog because I'm like running between classes, running home, getting changed. Well, I haven't got changed yet. Let's decide what I'm gonna wear because I don't have any clean Lululemons, which is really upsetting because I don't like working out in anything else. So I think I'm gonna wear these. Uh, don't know what sports bra, maybe my Lululemon y Flow yoga bra. Yeah, I think that's a shout. Even though the boob things, Padding, that's all, that's all that's called. Padding is um, kind of shitty. Cause I, I know you're meant to take them out when you wash them, but like, I just don't, I just can't be bothered. And probably gonna pair it with my Brandy Melville hoodie. Not the one I was wearing previously. That is also from Brandy Melville. And a pair of Converse's. Um, oh, I've got a Tensing Energy drink. That's fun and fresh. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. Yeah, this is this is what I'm wearing. Um, I need I haven't fixed the padding in this, but yeah, can you, you can't even see <gasps> full outfit. Um, I don't even have my Air Force Ones anymore. I sold them, so I'm just gonna put on Converse. I think I already said that. Having my Tenzing Energy Drink, I'm really excited. I love Friday doubles. Um, I said this on my TikTok, but when I was at uni, I would like run out of my Friday lecture. My uni is about two hours from London. Um, I'd run out of my Friday lecture, run to the train station. I'd literally go to the lecture in my workout clothes, uh, run to the train station and then get the train to London, run from Victoria to Soul Cycle and take this exact Friday double. Um, Abby's 5 p.m. then lives 6 p.m. I love it so much. And they're like my, they, no, I was gonna say they're like, they are my favorite instructors. So, ah, I just, this Friday double, it just feels good to me. And the fact that we're back in the Soho studio just, Ah, oh, it feels like life is kind of normal again. It's not, but you know. Anyway, um, yeah, let's pick some shoes. Oh, do you know what? I was wearing my platform Converse before, like the ones like this, but the black ones. But you will break a neck if you wear those in the rain. Like I was actually walking around like this because I was like, if I walk normally, I'm gonna end up in A&E. And honestly, oh my God. Actually, I haven't been to A&E in so long. I'm normally in A&E every month. Um, yeah, I don't have the best best track record. Wait, let me put my shoes back in. Um, these, were, oh, these were the ones I was wearing. But yeah, I don't have the best track record with hospitals. I'm always in A&E for some reason, but I've been doing well this year. I'm trying to think, when was the last time I was in A&E? I don't know if I've been this year. Wow, look at me go. No, I must have been this year, but not a lot. Oh my God, last year, what, what was wrong with me? I had an inflamed tendon in my wrist, so I was in A&E for that. Had a lot of allergic reactions. <sighs> Sometimes my heart gives out, you know? Just life. Anyways, uh, I can't keep talking because I am gonna be late for this cell cycle class. But, well, no, two cell cycle classes. And did I already say one of them is Hip Hop Friday? We love Hip Hop Fridays. And then Liv's class will be like angsty rock and roll, which I also love. That's like my brand. Why do my armpits look like that? Shadows. Um, yeah, cheers. So I have done three Soul Cycle classes and now I'm at the pub with my dad. 
and I'm doing three salsa classes again tomorrow. Um, but the sertraline has affected my alcohol tolerance and I've only had one gin, one double gin and tonic and I'm already feeling it. I don't even know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Hello. Anyways, you want to say hi to my vlog dad? Hiya. Okay. <laughs> it's quieter in here, but um, yeah, this is the situation. Oh my god, my hair. I literally came straight from Soul Cycle to the pub. Oh my god, what is that? Can you guys see that? It's like a clump of gel. Anyways, um, yeah, Sertraline has made me drunker than I need to be, and I'm doing a triple again tomorrow. I'm gonna make this a weekend vlog, I think. All I'm doing is working out, but you guys know that's all I do anyway. Hi guys, so it's 1 a.m. Um, I'm in bed. I'm just like standing. I'm not standing. I'm leaning against the wall. Um, I have to be up at 7am for Abby's 8am and then I'm doing Liv's 12pm. Uh, one's in Soho, one's in Notting Hill, which means... No, it doesn't mean anything actually. <laughs> it doesn't... It Yeah, no. No meaning to life. Um, but yeah, how embarrassing. I used to be such a heavyweight, like... I would have to pre, pre I would have to pre-game so much before I went out and like today all I did was go to three Soul Cycle classes and didn't pre-game and literally just went straight from Soul Cycle to the pub to meet my dad and had three double G and T's and I'm tipsy. Shout out to my antidepressants because they made me this way. Makes me a cheap date though, if anyone wants to date me. Psych, I don't want to speak to anyone. <sighs> She's up, she made it. I'm a fucking survivor. Um, yeah, it's 7.30 a.m., it's raining. I don't know if you can see, it's not raining that badly, but it's still raining, which is a big inconvenience, especially because it's August. It is summertime, but I'm going to Sainsbury's. Um, I actually walked this long way, like through Rathbone Place, through Fitzrovia. If you know Soho Fitzrovia, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I didn't need to walk up Rathbone Place, but half of Oxford Street is shut off and I couldn't be bothered to cross the road. So I took the long way. Uh, I do actually like walking through like Rathbone Place, this part of Fitzrovia, because uh, it's peaceful. Look, oh, this is cute, but um, hmm. there's a passageway that I need hip wait wait where's the passageway no where is it oh here oh, thought i was losing my mind anyways yeah taking a ridiculously long way to get to sainsbury's <laughs> what should have been a two minute walk has now turned into a 10 minute walk but that's fine okay wait i just stopped filming because my hand was covering the mic and i was like if i have muffled this audio i'm gonna be so upset but yeah this is actually kind of scary no, it's not. Um, let me figure out where I am. Let me get my bearings. That is such a dad phrase. Like, let me get my bearings. Let me get my bearings. Oh, just shut up and say you're lost, you know? Anyways, I don't know where I am. No, I do know where I am. I just don't know how to get to Sainsbury. No, I do. I do. I do. I have lived here long enough. I know how to get to Sainsbury's. Okay, there's Rathbone Place. That's the tunnel that I could have walked through, but there was too many people. So next turning, I think, is mine. Anyways, how is everyone? Do you know what I love about myself? <laughs> I'm such a fucking narcissist. How am I like, how is everyone? Do you know what I love about myself? But do you know what I love about myself? I could literally be like blackout drunk on the floors of London, projectile vomiting, and I will still work out the next day. So good for me. Oh my God, I thought someone was filming me. How fucking terrifying. Um, okay, yeah, I'm on East Castle Street. There's actually a coffee shop here, um, but I don't think I'm gonna get coffee now. I think I'm gonna get coffee before my second class of the day because, I don't know, I don't really wanna have the shakes today. You know, <laughs> just random, I just don't wanna have the shakes today. But I'm getting an energy drink from Sainsbury's, so. Do I have rhyme and reason for what I do? No. Oh my God, this is an interesting story. A bottle of wine and KFC beans. I hope you had an amazing night. Seems fun. Seems fun enough. Uh, oh, this rain. Anyways, there's Burners Street. 
That's what I was looking for. I found Sainsbury's, guys. No, wait. If Sainsbury's is shut, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. No, it won't be shut. I don't fucking know. So I got my energy drink from Sainsbury's. And you have to be 16 to buy an energy drink. So it comes up saying that you need approval from a member of staff. Um, so it literally came up and it was like, check that they're over 16. She asked me to take my mask down, I did. She was like, do you have ID? I was like, no. And she was like, I'm sorry, you look really young. I was like, I am 22 years old. How dare you tell me I look younger than 16? Like, that's not even a compliment. Like, <laughs> That is not a compliment. <laughs> and do you know what it is? It's because I don't have my eyebrows waxed. Whenever I don't have my eyebrows waxed, I look like a fucking baby. Ugh. Anyway, it's got my energy drink. <laughs> Such a first world problem. Anyways, I'm going to Soul Cycle now. Did the damn thing. Uh, now I'm going to Whole Foods to get a protein bar. Then I'm going home, getting changed, and heading to Notting Hill for Soul Cycle. Imagine having more than one personality. I, for one, will never be able to relate. Okay, so let me give you guys the rundown. I took a 20 minute power nap. Um, still tired, but people are right. You do feel better waking up from 20 minutes of sleep than like a two hour nap. I don't know, I didn't have the grogginess. But I went to Liv's class at Notting Hill. It was amazing, she's amazing. And then we just like headed home together. So now I'm walking home, um, need food. All I've had today is two protein bars and a banana. I'm gonna die. Own up, who the fuck is buying all the gluten-free bagels in Whole Foods? I am sick of you bitches. Oh my God, let me have one thing. Um, I'll put you guys on though. The Boss Bagels from the Gluten-Free Bakery. They are the best bagels in the fucking world. Oh my God. But yeah, I'm just lying on the floor. I'm a floor person. I love being on the floor. It's just so comfortable. Also, getting into bed is so much effort. Like, who said I have the time? No, I want a nap, so I am gonna get into bed in a minute. But, oh my god, my quads. I'm doing a double again tomorrow. Yeah, a moment of silence for my insanity. Any oh, sorry, a double soul cycle class, if that wasn't clear. Um, But yeah, I just made myself lunch. Uh, what was it? Avocados, eggs, and bread. A, a gluten-free bun thing. I don't know. A gluten-free, like, sourdough loaf, I think that's what it was, because someone took all the fucking bagels. Anyways, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm, the sun is shining, which is weird, because it was just pouring with torrential rain. Ugh, don't you just love England? Do you just love England? Oh my god, the shadows of my room are making these eye patches look really weird. Um, but yeah, I've, oh fuck, it's raining! Uh, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I just washed all my gym clothes, so I have a nice outfit to wear tomorrow. I'm taking the 8.15 and the 9.30, which is a normal Soul Cycle class and a Soul Survivor. I love that Sunday double. Um, and I was gonna wash my hair, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> fucking, ooh. But I think I'm just going to do it in the morning, which isn't a good idea, but I'm going to do it. And then, what else did I do? Oh, I just ate dinner. I just had some veg and some gluten-free noodles. Um, why did I say noodles? It was pasta. It wasn't noodles. It wasn't noodles. No, it wasn't noodles. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to take these things off. Put on like a paw strip because these paws are a bit, oh. This new phone has made me realise my skin is awful. Uh, I'm watching New Girl. And I'm probably going to have some magnesium and go to bed. Because I didn't nap. I planned on napping, like I said. And I didn't nap because I just had a lot to do. I need to, like, post some clothes. Didn't do that. And it's raining, so I won't be doing that now. Um, but, yeah, just a chill Saturday night. Just a chill one. That was so annoying. Um... I don't really think I'm doing anything else. I wish I looked cool with eye patches on. Like, you know those Pinterest girls with like the Chanel eye patches? Like, I literally look like I've just come out of like a hospital appointment. I'm about to have eye surgery or some shit. Just not cool, not fashionable. 
I'm trying to sell all my clothes on Depop so I can buy new wardrobes. So if you would like to fund that and buy my clothes, that would be so amazing. Big kisses. Mwah. Pardon me. Um, yeah. I'll update you if anything else happens. If not, I'll see you in the morning. So I have a little pull strip on right now, but I didn't go to bed. Um, I decided to like, oh wait, I'm wearing a bra. Let me flip the camera. I decided to like organize my shit, basically. This is like, I don't know, like chill wear. I honestly wear none of these hoodies, but they all have like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. They're just, I can't get rid of them. And these are like oversized tops or merch that I got at concerts and then pajamas, shorts and like crop tops, whatever for bed. Then hoodies that I do actually wear, a Carhartt hat. Uh, ignore how broken my wardrobe is, I need to get a new one. Anyway, then I have my jeans and my sports stuff, but this isn't even half of it because they were in the wash. Productive queen, yep. Don't know what anxiety I'm trying to let out this way because I don't know any other reason why I would just randomly do that. Um, but yeah, I think it's about like 8 p.m. now. Honestly, I said I was gonna go to bed and it was like 5 p.m. So that probably wasn't gonna happen. But yeah, I'm trying to like literally clear out my wardrobe and get rid of so much shit because, wait, let me close this. This one here is the nightmare. I've done quite well though. This used to be so fucking packed and now it's not and these are like the things i wear and then i'm gonna have to flip the camera again because i don't want my titties to be out on youtube that stuff there is clothes and jeans and whatever that i don't wear and need to sell immediately there's so much anyways yeah i think i'm gonna keep sorting out my room and listing stuff on my depop and then i'll go to bed i don't know okay this is morning update so forgot to take my antidepressants this morning and prep was shut before cell cycle so i just did lips 8 15. i'm running to get coffee for me and live and then i'm going to 9 30. hi guys so oh my god my knees crack so much i'm so old anyway um so right now i'm obviously back home um but i have just been packing some depop orders and um i need to like sort my wardrobe out and then i need to get ready because i'm going um to the pub with my dad again um i say as i was editing this vlog i realized how many times i say um and it's very annoying so i'm very sorry but yeah i didn't didn't sort that mess out so i need to do that and I'm gonna take like all this stuff off my wardrobe. Okay, wait, all my underwear's in there, so. <laughs> How do I? Okay, let me just take it with me. Um, so on my wardrobe door here, I have like all this stuff and I just like don't really want it there anymore. Let's see, oh wait, hello. If you could just stay out, that would be amazing. Look at all that paint there. Okay, let me shut this. But yeah, I'm gonna take some of that off. It's like cinema tickets. Um, there's like a heartfelt letter in that. Do you want me to read you the letter? Oh, I can't bother to take it off. Okay, let me just take you with me. Again. Um, okay. It's quite long, so watch. This is when my stutter will come out and I'll embarrass myself. Okay. So I did this like summer thing in the UK. If you're from the UK, you know what I'm talking about. It's called NCS. Um, it's like three weeks of your summer holiday and you do like a week of charity work um a week of like being in some random field in england and then a week where you stay in a university um yeah i don't know why people do it but whatever um <laughs> so my like mentor wrote us all letters and this is what this says feel free to skip this but i have kept it all these years i did ncs when i was um 15 14 15 and yeah i don't know i'm not really sentimental i don't really keep that many things but i kept this letter anyways this is what it says mary the amount of times you said to me i can't do it i'm going home i'm Ugh, already messed up okay let's stop from the top <laughs> mary the amount of times you said to me i can't do it i'm going home i'm not coming tomorrow you know i'd be so rich right now but even after everything you made it you completed the whole of ncs and you did it with a bang 
I am just changed a word she said because it was grammatically incorrect. That's why I stopped. I promise I can read. Um, you can. Oh, you have actually been so fantastic. You actually challenged yourself so far and you surprised me. The last day of week one when you were on the high ropes, the highlight for me was being a mentor. Oh, okay. Basically, let me explain that. So there was this one thing in the week in a field and I don't like heights and um, they made us jump off a tree and I cried. I cried. I stood on the tree and cried in front of a massive group of people that I've never met before. I cried. Anyways, that's what that's in reference to. Uh, you made me feel like I was actually doing a good job being a mentor. The way you made me cry, I was just so happy. After that, I actually believed you could do anything. I knew you were someone really special and you really are, Mary. Have the confidence in yourself because you're an amazing girl and don't let anyone tell you any different. You're a future lawyer. <laughs> well, bestie, I'm afraid to tell you this. Um, anyways, I have no doubt... Um, because you are so well-spoken and anyone will have confidence in you. You're an absolute natural with working with kids. That was the charity thing I did. Um, and you just made me so proud. My experience with your team wouldn't have been the same without... <laughs> Whatever, I don't want to, I don't want to laugh at this. Wouldn't have been the same without you. Stealing my hoodie and just being cheeky. You have been an absolute pleasure and thank you so much for coping with me for three weeks. I'm going to miss you so much. I've learned so much about Topshop. <laughs> you were just slaying every single day with your outfits. Stay beautiful, never change, be confident. You are amazing. You should be proud of yourself. And yeah, I've, I've kept that all this time. I don't know. Sometimes I read it when I, I don't believe in myself. So... It's cool to have that. But everything else on here, I don't need. Like, I have cinema tickets from when I watched Mary Poppins 21 times in cinemas. I don't need a reminder that I'm insane. <laughs> but that letter is, is fading, which is really sad. But, yeah. Anyway. That's probably all I'm going to do. Um, probably going to take that down at some point. I just didn't really know what to do with the Soul Cycle things. And um, this that my soul cycle instructor made me and then these film pictures I took didn't really know where to put them so I just put them there for now but need to sort my clothes out I just can't be but it's so long like oh listing your clothes on websites to sell is just so long but I know it's so worth it because what are they doing in my wardrobe but sometimes I take it too far and I literally sell all my clothes like I am on this like six month cycle with my wardrobe where like every six months I re-download Depop, I re-download Vinted and I list all my clothes and then the thrill of it gets to me and then I realise I sold all of my clothes. Um, so I need to stop myself from doing that but I do need to sell like 80% of them because I don't wear them and I want to buy like, I want to invest in more expensive fashion pieces that are like staples in my wardrobe because I feel like my fashion sense has changed so much since last year. Um, Because I used to honestly just dress like a basic bitch. Like even the fact that my mentor at NCS was like calling me like out for wearing Topshop. I mean, she wasn't calling me out, but like that's how she remembered me because I didn't stop talking about Topshop. Like I used to spend all my money in Topshop. Thank God it doesn't exist anymore, at least in the UK. Because I saw someone's Instagram story, like one of my friends in America and she was in Topshop and I was like, Oh my god, I thought they closed everywhere, but apparently they just closed in the UK. Um, but yeah, I used to be such a basic bitch, and now I feel like I've really found my style, but I want to invest in, like, statement pi- Ooh, whoop. Wow, okay, let's take that from the top. Um, I want to invest in statement pieces from fashion brands that are, like, environmentally friendly as well. So, like, Ganny and things like that. But okay. Um. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna maybe list some more clothes on Depop and sort out my wardrobe. But until then, well, no, it's not until then because for you it will be the next clip. For me, it'll be like four hours. Um, look at my lovely half painted ceiling. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing. Sorry, there's a jumper hanging from my railing. That's what that is. Um, I don't know, I'm not wearing a bra because free the nip and all that, right? No, actually, I just can't be bothered to put a bra on. Um, yeah, this is the fit. 
I don't actually want to wear this jacket, but it's freezing. So I have to wear it so I don't get cold. So I get cold really easily, but oh, keys need those. Um, oh, AirPods also need those. But yeah, ignore my ceiling. Um, I'm going. I think I'm just gonna drink seltzers all night. I say that I'll get there and I'll drink like all of the gin. <sighs> okay, I did not film at the pub um, because it was really packed. And honestly, I was just like having a bunch of debates with my dad. So wasn't much to, to whip out my camera for. But it is Sunday evening, it is 10 p.m. And I'm in bed and I'm probably just gonna watch other people's vlogs. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is like editing this and like literally do the same thing every single day, which, duh, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram or have even watched any of my vlogs before, you know that I am a creature of habit. I work out obsessively, but like healthily, but like obsessively <laughs> and drink. Yeah, so bye. Have a good week if you're watching this on Sunday night. Oh, but like also if you're not watching this on Sunday night, just have a good week regardless. Have a good day. Whatever. Have a good life. <laughs>